day of the year got to get those last minute finds in i got a cellar hole right here we'll see what we can get all right been out here maybe 10 minutes or so got my first couple targets first one these are both in the same hole nice little suspender piece i got one similar to that at home and then just a iron nut nothing crazy but let's see what else these uh, woods have to offer. Okay, second decent target. Thought it was a button. It's looking like some sort of leather tack of some sort. Probably went on furniture, who knows. Maybe a piece of horse tack. But those little hooks would have hooked right into some leather fabric of some kind. Well, I'm literally kneeling in that last hole, and right in front of it, I just popped out another one. This thing was pretty much on the surface. Looks like maybe some fire damage. Probably a piece of furniture or something. Somebody burnt up not too long ago. Hmm. So, I was getting a huge high tone next to a ton of iron. So, uh, let me just dig it. <laughs> This massive thing just popped out. It's a pulley. That's really cool. Solid brass. Huh. That's going to weigh the pouch down. I might actually head out of here and do another one of my spots. Mix it up for the last day of the year. Why not, right? We'll see. <sighs> okay, so... I really, really, really hope that this is silver. But I just got like a pretty good high tone right by the right by the old road. And I just pulled this out. <sighs> this is a bucket lister. If this is silver. Oh, please say sterling. It's just sterling. Oh, oh baby. Oh my god. Let's see if there's anything. Ooh! Jesus! Okay, I'm gonna stick around here for a few minutes. Oh, 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 oh baby! Talk about the end of the year coming in hot. Whew, I'm gonna eat with this. You can bet your bottom dollar. Yeah, I know. You guys think I'm crazy for leaving that spot, but I had a good plan. I think I just pulled out a choke and... Whoa, whoa. Good for five cents. In trade. Two, two, five, three. Hmm. To clean this up better, do some research. I'll see you in the wrap up with this one. This is cool though. Oh baby, do I got silver in the hole? Sure looks like it from here. There it is. Nineteen forty-three. <sighs> I love war nickels. Sweet. Let's keep going. Just got this cool little brass thing. A little bit of something on there. I'm sure this is just nothing special. Hmm. All right. Almost time to get out of here. Well, that sums it up for the last hunt of the year. 
Got a sweet token, silver coin, silver spoon, some old big brass. I uh, spent a few minutes talking to the property owner at that last spot, found out a ton more about the property. A couple buildings are burnt down, torn down, that explains why there's iron everywhere. But, all right, let me get these cleaned up, I'll see you in the wrap up. Well, part two, back to back. Here we go. First signal of the year is a coin. <laughs> 1944 wheat. Hmm. Hey, I'll take it. Let's keep going because I am not done with this property yet. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm sure this is at least a couple weeks into January, if not February. But uh, hope everyone's doing well. All right, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just saw this creepy trail. It's marked trail markers trees this is a little creepy i think it just leads down to the river we'll see well that wasn't so creepy it just looped me around to the complete opposite side of the property where there's pretty much nothing <laughs> oh, nice day for a stroll i guess see you in the next okay so a bit of a mystery item here all I've got so far is two wheat pennies. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. I just pulled it out. It's got an interesting shape. Okay. No idea. Probably some kind of plumbing part or something. Some kind of something. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. All right, so I got kind of a strange one. I know in one of my previous videos... I had this exact thing, minus these. And I said maybe some kind of a sketch and something like that. But these are rivets. And at least from my experience, rivets don't go into wood. Mostly. Maybe this was some, I don't know, on some piece of thick leather. Who knows? If you do, let me know. I'd love to find out what these things really are then. <laughs> cool. Well, it's not that interesting, but I've never dug one before. It's like a, well, it is, I believe, a salt shaker top. <laughs> Pretty cool though, I know it's old, that's for sure. All right, let's find some goodies. Well, this is pretty cool. I almost didn't dig this signal because I'm pretty close to the road and I thought it was going to be trash. And that is why you dig everything. Sometimes there's a patent date on these. Clearly it's not on the front. I got that sweet design. I'll have to check it out when I get home. This is the most of one of these I've had. A little lantern part. It's your adjustment knob. The wick would have came up through there. Cool. Let's keep going. Got ourselves our first parasol piece in uh, 2022. These things sound wonderful. A little bit of a disappointment. But that's okay. There's old stuff here. Whew, well, this looks like the last signal for the day. Another suspender piece. I'll get it home, clean it up, see if it's got any fancy on it. It's not looking like it. I also found that little thing. Oh, looks like it's a relic day. I'll take it, though. Catch you guys in the wrap-up. And here we are again, back at the wrap-up. So I'm going to go over this first because it is really cool. So this piece, I had no idea what it was. I honestly can't remember right now if I filmed it. I hope I did because I need to track down where I was and go look for the rest of this thing. So I'll throw a picture up on the screen 
on what this is. It's like Richardson's galvanic magneto battery something i forget the exact name but you'll see it uh this was a medical amulet it's a form of quack medicine and it's really cool this is from 1880 to 1900 i believe it's patented in 1880 and there would have been a lot more to this um but supposedly this amulet was supposed to fix nervousness, back pain, chest colds, all kind of nausea, whole list of things. Um, and he has a big hunk of it. This is, it's, that's my first quack medicine instrument I think I've ever found. Who knows if I'll find any other or the rest of it. That would be cool. But moving on to the rest of this stuff. I got this little parasol slide. This is the best condition one I think I have so far. Um, not bad, that would have been used. Uh, kind of, it's sort of like an umbrella, in case you don't know what a parasol is. It's basically an umbrella for the sun. Um, and this would, you know, slide up and down to open and close the umbrella or parasol, if you will. Um, pretty cool, but these are quite common and not incredibly interesting. This little guy, mm, I don't know. I don't know if this piece was supposed to be bent like that or not. I did start bending it back, but if you see here, notice that flaking off. I didn't want to snap it. So maybe a piece of a suspender, maybe a clock part, maybe who knows. Um, these, however, are pieces of suspenders. Boom and boom. Pretty common as well. I got this little pin here with these diamonds. No, I'm sure they're not real diamonds, but... And this cool little pin it says something on the back. It's too hard to read without getting a loop. It looks like it could have been a little bird. There's a head and the feathers. I don't know. I thought it was a Mickey Mouse at first, but I don't believe it is. Well, we got our two furniture tacks. This little piece probably went on some sort of wooden tool and the handle connecting whatever the tip of the tool was to the handle. You know, a little design on there, nothing incredible. This is the most of a lantern part that I've found so far. Um, now, you, sometimes they'll have the patent date on the front or the patent date on the back. Um, I honestly couldn't see one before on the back, but it's pretty cool. If you don't know what piece this would have been, I have a cheap imitation. Don't mind my plate with my dirt. Uh, it would have been this piece that went down under here. See the, all those little holes all around that? You turn this, and the wick would go up. Um, these pieces right here with all those little holes, those things just disintegrate. Um, there was actually a lot more on it. It was at least all the way around this rim when I first pulled out of the ground. As you can tell, it's just kind of falling apart. You know, nothing too crazy. The wick would have went in there. I did not see a patent date. Hmm. Either way, they don't go in the collection. Got this little reins guide here. Some nice brass. This thing was a screamer. I've got a few of those now, actually, which I really like reins guides. Check this wheel out. This thing is heavy duty, solid brass. I cleaned it out. Still works with no problem at all. They really don't make things like they used to. And down over here, I got my wheat pennies, which are typical for that site that I ended at. These are pretty rough, um, but I really haven't spent any time except just to get the date. Uh, we got a 1920. I thought that said 43 for a second. <laughs> My heart stopped. Uh, 1945. And I think this is a 44. Yep, 44. I got my second ever war nickel. And they're both from the same location. Philadelphia minted as well. 1943. I love war nickels. I don't know why I always have. 
These I just stick in a little bit of lemon juice and kind of clean them off. They don't hold up that great. Um, they're only 35% silver. Um, and then they have, I forget the exact ratios, but 35% silver. Then they're mostly nickel. And then there's little manganese in there, which is where I think you're getting all these little uh, nasty little things. Corrosion bumps coming through. This is my first token that has a value on it. Good for five cents in trade. And it's got a number on the back. I did a little bit of research on these. It's There's no way I'd be able to figure out where this came from. These were kind of just a, like a generic, general token um, that you could use. I'm assuming wherever you would use this would use this number here. Um, but I actually was just watching an episode of Quarter Hoarder, and they, they found one on there too. I was like, hey, I found that same token. But either way, it's really cool. I like it. Pretty sure it's from like the 20s, 30s. Maybe a little earlier. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I like it. And this, coming in, my favorite find, probably for the month, maybe. This is the Elusive Silver Spoon. Look at that. Monogram S on there. I've already eaten a bowl of ice cream with this spoon. As you can tell, I have some ice cream right there. <laughs> Uh, Sterling, there's the maker's mark right there. Somebody posted a picture. I'll throw it up on the screen. Um, this spoon was made in Wallingford, Connecticut. And that's kind of far, but it's kind of cool to have something old that's made in Connecticut. Probably late 1800s, early 1900s. Probably late 1800s, I would say. I think somebody told me that. Well, that's it. That's all I got for you. It wraps up the end of 2021. 2022 has been hmm, okay so far. Haven't found really anything crazy, but then again, I've been out maybe one time. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, I will be changing my channel name. I'm going to be adding in some different content, do some bottle digging, maybe some Native American artifact hunting, because I've been doing a decent amount of that lately, and it's a ton of fun looking for those stone artifacts so if you see the logo change and the name change uh don't worry you'll still stay subscribed but just a channel name and everything will change i'm not sure exactly when i'm gonna do it maybe soon it probably has actually already happened by now so <laughs> old news to you well that's it i'll catch you guys on the next video stay safe <laughs>